everyone, this is Ray Whitney at Whitney Automotive in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, I'm making a video today about how often you should change your oil. Because I get that question a lot. Um, uh, some manufacturers might recommend 5, 7,500 or 10,000 miles between changes and then you might get an oil that says it can go 30,000 miles um, and then you get your Jiffy Lube oil change sticker it might say 3,000 miles. Uh, I just want you to be able to make the proper judgment for your vehicle uh, based on the information I'm about to give you. All right, now in order for us to understand uh, what oil does and why you should even change it, I just wanted to have this little example here. This is a bottle of, of brand new oil. This is 5W20 conventional oil. It's fresh out of another bottle that had a label on it, so I took it off so you could see it. The second bottle I have here is used oil. All right, This car came out of a brand new car. The car had 7,500 miles on it. The oil itself, this was its second oil change, so it only had about 3,500 miles on it. But as you can see, this brand new car, uh, the oil is dark. It's a little bit thicker. If I, if I slosh this one around, you'll see it drops right down. If I slosh this one around, you'll see it leaves a film uh, of dirt and burnt behind. Alright, so what, what was wrong with this car? Why did it run like that? There's nothing wrong with it. Alright, it's, it's a brand new car. The oil is just doing its own job. Now this was a car that had zero W20 oil in it, okay? And the recommended oil change intervals are 7,500 miles. Now this is 3,500 miles. What would it look like at 7,500 miles? It would look like this, darker and thicker. Okay, that doesn't mean the oil is necessarily horrible, but it's not new, okay? So in order to understand how this turned into this, we're going to look at the four functions of oil. All right, oil has the four functions. The first function everybody knows is to lubricate your engine. All those moving components need to be lubricated. The second function we're going to have is that it's going to cool. Uh, as that engine's moving up and down at thousands of revolutions per minute, uh, heat is produced and that heat is transferred to the oil. The oil is sometimes cooled down in the oil pan, sometimes there's oil coolers on some cars, but it's transferring heat to keep your car from overheating. Uh, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to seal the combustion chamber of your car. Now, if you have a, a piston engine, which most engines are, uh, the pistons are moving up and down in the cylinders. Okay, Around the pistons are piston rings. One of them is an oil ring, and what that oil ring does is it leaves a film of oil between the cylinder wall and the piston rings to com to lubricate, first of all, and to seal the combustion chamber. Now, so as that moves up and down, it, it's rubbing against oil, alright, so it's sealing. Now, if you don't have that oil there, you're not sealing, you're not getting good compression. The same thing goes for a rotary engine. Rotary engines have a small amount of oil injected into them to seal at the apex seals as the rotor moves around, and that will complete your combustion chamber. Alright, so now... I, I touched on lubrication, I touched on cooling, I touched on sealing. The last thing it's going to do is it's going to clean your engine. Now, as you have those seals there that are sealing the combustion chamber, you will have uh, bypass gases slipping by them slowly, which is a normal process. And what, what that is, is that when you have this high temperature, high compression, all these things going on up on top of that piston to explode and ignite and the fire and, and all the byproduct that comes out of it, some of it slips past. Some of it's going to get by those piston rings, some of it's going to get by them and it's going to go down in your engine. Well, your engine, the oil, is going to absorb it and move it on stream up to your filter so that it can be collected and changed. All of those things are happening. Like I said, it's thousands of revolutions per minute when you're driving a car. So, that is how this oil turns to this oil so quickly. Now that might help you understand how important oil is to a vehicle. So as we talk about how often should you change it, realistically, the more often, the better. Okay? Um, the manufacturers say 7,500. Why is it 7,500? And, and Ray, you're telling me I should do it every 3,000 miles. Well. There's another thing we have to look at when the manufacturer comes up with their maintenance schedules. Uh, first of all, it, it is based on the fact that sometimes the newer oils we use, like this Zero W20 oil, is expensive. Uh, back 10 or 15 years ago, nothing had Zero W20 oil. Most cars ran on 530 or 1040, you know, the oils were thicker and they were conventional. 
Now zero weight oil is synthetic and it's common to spend forty or fifty dollars on a synthetic oil change. Um, so because we have to use these newer thinner oils to meet the emissions requirements of the of the government because our cars now have to work on lower emissions levels we are forced to use tighter lower clearance engines that work on a tighter parameter we're running a tight ship and we have to use thinner oils and the thinner oils are more expensive now okay that's all well and good but what does that have to do with the manufacturer setting the intervals well the manufacturer they're all in competition with one another. Toyota is against Honda, Honda against Nissan, Nissan against Mazda, Mazda against Ford. They're all trying to get the lowest cost of ownership. And what that means is once you buy their car, once you buy that Toyota Corolla, once you buy that, that Mazda 3, whatever it is, you're going to have to put fewer dollars into that car to keep it on the road. Fewer much, The fewest amount of money for oil changes, how long are the brakes going to last, how long do the filters last, how, what's the lowest cost of ownership for the car? Because uh, if you've ever gone and bought a new car and you've done your research on it, odds are you've wanted to find out what has the lowest cost of ownership yourself simply because you want to be able to afford the car. So as they all compete for that to see who has the lowest cost of ownership, they're going to push those intervals as far back as they can to keep the car running good. Now if you want your car to run great, and be like a brand new car all the time, you're going to change your oil as often as you could. Now let me finish up by saying that I have uh, multiple vehicles, both my family and I have multiple vehicles with cars well over 200,000 miles on them. I didn't buy any of them new, uh, but once I get them, I change the oil every 3,000 miles, oil and filter. I don't use anything special, I don't use synthetic oil, I, I just use conventional oil and a filter every 3,000 miles or less and my repair costs, my parts failures are very low. My reliability of my cars is very high. I don't think I ever go out to the car and I have an uninspected failure. I really don't. Um, and the primary reason behind that in my own personal belief and experience is that I am very meticulous about my oil change and the maintenance on my cars. Um, that being said, I recommend you get your car maintained. I recommend you change the oil and as I said we might put 3,000 miles in, on the sticker in your window or 3,000 miles on the maintenance indicator in your dash, but we put that in knowing that that's not going to light up or register in your head until you see that mileage, and then it's going to take you a week or two to get there. So if you go a little bit over, that's okay. We, we understand that, but I'm telling you, if you want your car to run uh, at its highest level straight through its life, you're going to change your oil as often as possible right around 3,000 miles oil and filter. Again, my name is Ray Whitney. I'm at Whitney Automotive in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, we're open for maintenance too, and we got some good prices, so don't be afraid to give us a call. Um, we're at WhitneyAutoRepair.com. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow this YouTube channel uh, as it expands too. It's free charge. I uh, hope you all have a good time, and I hope to see you in soon for an oil change.